getting so close to actually getting on. I want to make sure that she still knows how to play. No need to hang. So, what I'm going to do is ask her to give me your head. Good job. Same thing over here. Ooh, a little more. Ooh. Oh. Keep asking until there. Almost. So close. There we go. She still has to get off that pressure. She's leaning on it. There you go. One more time. Nice. Here. Okay. Very, very good. And then you get brave and then you just like, I'm gonna take the step. That's my method of trying to see if I can be scared of it and not put close your eyes and throw it. Clearly she's not afraid. And you stick it in this. She's not scared. She's like, oh, that's not really good. Bumps up the camera like a moron. Put it in, you bounce it around. Probably shouldn't do this in tennis shoes. Not very safe. Let me do this. Pop up here like this. And you put your weight over like this. You take your foot out of the stirrup and pretend like you're a damsel in distress. Huh. And then you hop down. Woo! You look absolutely distraught. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe this. I cannot. I'm so scared. I'm just so scared. I'm so scared. Where are you going? The saddle's really loose. She's not scared. She's just being a jerk. Like, oh, you're gonna get off and I'm getting in trouble. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. You're not going to get in trouble. So forward motion. Aha. Now I know why this worked yesterday. a guinea pig because if you're gonna run off with me you're gonna get in trouble well this is going downhill now isn't it Ooh, you cannot run off with me like that please open the door to a fight whoa and it's not worth it to get mad it's really not so now she won't even let me go back to the saddle Oh. Ooh, big deal. Let's make this a big deal because it's not. Ooh. There. Ta-da. You're good. And again, you're fine. Don't hold. pick battles when I don't have the right equipment on. Oh man, I just love doing the same thing over and over. So I don't recommend keeping your foot in the stirrup unless you're stupid like me. And that that's the reason they think, oh, I'm just going to start taking off and I'm going to freak out. 
I love unplanned things like this. Who knew what this is what I was going to work on today? That's why I never have a plan. Well, apparently, this is what she needed to work on today. My very tippy toe. Mm -hmm. Baby steps. Whoa. Hop all you want, sweetie. I decided my legs aren't sore enough after that impromptu leg session. I decided to da 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 ride bareback. I thought it'd be fun. Another fun day in fun land, I think. That's why I don't make plans. It's because they never usually work out with the horses, so that's why you go with the flow. You never know what's going to happen, and you have incidentals, so you just plan for it, right? And you just do it. She got over it, trying to back up as I get on, but that's the kind of things that you do in preparation of getting on, because that's a habit that I really don't want her to have. We're going to nip that one in the bud right now. So, Neon, uh, after my impromptu lesson with, well, I shouldn't say lesson, but my impromptu leg workout, 
I decided, well, why not? My other butt cheek isn't quite sore enough, so let's make them both sore and post bareback. So that one's funny because it is a harsh reminder that I need to do stuff like that more often. We all do, just because it's a good strength exercise to get your legs stronger when you're, you're in a saddle. And especially stirrupless work too. English, take off the irons, you know, just get those legs strong so that in case the horse does spook or, you know, you, even for just horsemanship, you have a stronger seat and a better potty position. So I should probably plan on doing more, more stuff like that. So that's in the agenda on tomorrow. You get to look forward to another how-to video. So that one's going to be kind of a a part two to what I did yesterday. This one's going to talk more about what you should do when you're walking up to the judge. Video one reminded me of that. It's, there's so many things to do with it, you know? And I can see on the monitor that there are flies crawling across the screen. I am really looking forward to that first frost because they'll go away. So I'll stop rambling on here. Uh, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate all the views and the likes and the comments. It means a lot to me. So tomorrow, who knows what tomorrow's going to bring. And I hope you have a good one.